Blue team, that's a complete stay away as well, as far as I'm concerned. They had one of the best quarterbacks, I forget his name, Morgan, I think it might have been his last name, um, in the history of the program. He's left, um, you know, I, they're just a total, utter stay away. Butch Davis lost that game against Arkansas State in the bowl. He never loses a bowl game. I lost money. I'm not backing him or this goddamn team this year. It's interesting you jump straight to Butch Davis because that, that is where I would start. I, I don't bet on him to be a magical head coach in a situation where things are not working. You know? Like, this guy's, like, whole career is like a downward trajectory. Exactly. From the U to UNC, now to FIU. Like, this is just a declining asset. It like, like, buying Butch Davis is like buying stock in, like, Macy's or J.C. Penney. Yeah. Like, you're going down. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I don't love this team. I don't love having an inexperienced O-line. I don't love the just the general lack of experience here. Yeah, they're at forty four percent returning production overall. I mean, and not from recruiting groups that are the highest touted players. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, it might be, yeah, it might be Butch Davis getting effed in the A this season. You think they still going to play Liberty? Oh, they might get F in the A in that game. <laughs> I'm I I loved backing Liberty last year. I think I've mentioned this as an over squad. They lost the kid uh, Gandy Golden. He'll be going to the Washington football team. Uh, I'll probably back Liberty again as an over squad this year. You know, just for uh, God's grace. I mean, they got rid of Falwell, didn't they? They're doing the right thing. Um, what do you think about the 49ers? The Charlotte 49ers? You got, you got any thoughts oh. on, this, on, this, on this squad? Um, I mean, okay, we, we did, we, we low-key skipped over Marshall. We're not there yet. But, we're um, not, we're, but, we didn't uh, low-key anything. I intentionally there. skipped <laughs> over Marshall before I start uh, talking about how this is the best game in this, this the best team in this division. All right, Ben. All right, Ben. Here we go. Uh, the Niners return a lot of production, and I do like Will Healy's personality. He's like one of those rah rah guys, mm. and I think that's good for a team that's like not particularly good. Like a good way to get young men to play with, you know, verve and with love for each other. It's for the coach to get them up. Um, yeah, I I am generally. I'm generally bullish on these guys. I think they're going to keep the good times rolling. Um, they ran, they had some run good last year. Like they won a lot of close games last year, right? Like, you know, they won, they won a close one over North Texas. They won a close one over UTEP and, and over Marshall. Like their game was, their game was closer than the final score. That was their first bowl berth. And then, oh, you know something? I did not watch the Bahamas. Oh my Bowl, god! And it does, and it does appear, it does appear that those kids viewed the trip to the Caribbean as a reward. Oh, um, oh my goodness! So, who was dumb enough to back the 49ers in the Bahamas Bowl? Me. I watched every minute of that Bahamas Bowl. That was the only game uh, that I bet on Charlotte all year long, and I had not watched them play yet. But I felt confident that they would be. You know, honored by the uh, by being selected to attend the Bahamas Bowl, and that was a uh, that was a super windy day. They had some like you know tropical depression come through. I thought that was going to be hmm. a good under under game. You know, keep it low, keep 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 it close between them and Buffalo, and they just got fucked by the Bulls. Fucked. That was it. Was you, such an embarrassing know. performance. Yeah, so that was kind of a weather game, right? It's hard to evaluate a very windy day. Um, well, they, their defense I mean, could not stop Buffalo. It was more on the defensive side, where Charlotte just really shit the bed. I mean, but that's a physical yeah, team. Buffalo. Buffalo is a physical team. Yeah, no, Buffalo ran all over their faces in, in a weather game, right? And it was just, it was just tough tits. I mean. <sighs> 
Oh my goodness. What a loud dog. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Well, yeah, so oh. I, are you going to be back in Charlotte at all? I'm going to wait and see basically what happens with this. You know, they have some interesting games for them uh, within comp. I mean, they, they look, let me bottom hmm. line Charlotte for you. They got a fucking running quarterback who is 5'10 and 192 pounds. That's not good. That is not, not a good. recipe. Nope. That's not a recipe. I'm going to have to banish this sweet dog. You're going to have to forgive me. Yeah, no worries. Like, this is this is going to be potentially a part of the recording. <laughs> I thought you this were is... referring to Charlotte as the <laughs> banishing the sweet dog. <laughs> no, no, the sweet dog going to jail because she's making too much noise out here. And we're trying. And we're trying to get people prepared for the season. <laughs> I mean, Conference USA is going to be in action.